Welcome to Hollywood Happenings, and today we are talking about a new DVD release, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. And I have got to tell you, I've watched the trailer. This movie is seriously <laughs> intense. It sounds like it. Jim Ferguson is here to tell us if it is a must-see at the theaters. Hi, Jim. Well, hi, guys. <laughs> it's so good to see both of you, and you're so beautiful. Oh, oh and you're like so I... handsome. Well, thank you. Pinchable. Ooh, oh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit, did well at the box office, and uh, it will do well on DVD, too, as it comes out this week. Um, Chris Pine plays Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit, because he's a Marine, he gets shot down, and the CIA recruits him, but he really is a reluctant. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he, so his mission is to go to Russia to find out what's going on. The Russians have a terrorist plan to destroy our economy. And of course, head of the plan is Kenneth Branagh, a wonderful English actor who plays a Russian former KGB guy, you know, and he's in, in back of this plan. But Kenneth is not only stars in the movie as the bad guy, Victor, but he uh, directed the movie. Oh. And a great supporting cast, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Akira Knightley plays Chris Pine, Jack Ryan's girlfriend. And, of course, Kevin Costner plays his mentor, who's going to help him on this mission. Great cast, wonderful plot, a lot of action. Here's the director star, Kenneth Branagh. This film, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit, uh, uh, we find this young man more of an analyst and a thinker. He's got a doctorate degree than he is a superhero. Would you agree with that? Yes, he's an everyman in all other ways. He has a brilliant analytical mind, but he's a reluctant hero. He's modest, he's civilized, he's a gentleman. He has a normal life such as it is. He loves his partner to be, his would-be wife, but he has a secret. And the secret is that Kevin Costner has come visiting uh, and has introduced him to the idea of serving the CIA, but secretly. So he must lie to his partner, he must lie to his work colleagues, and he must put himself at risk as he starts to uncover in, in the scary world of the 21st century this plot mm -hmm. related to the fragile interconnectedness of world economies, which, if triggered, by someone as ruthless as Viktor Shuravin would be a disaster. So there's a lot of intellectual terrorism taking yes, place, yeah. but yet the film is loaded with action. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which I think keeps the audience just glued to the film. Well, yeah. we try to put uh, Jack, this every man, in a situation where the clock is ticking, and before he even quite understands it, events are in motion across the globe uh, and at pace that means that uh, it becomes breathless. I watch the film now and I still get nervous. I get nervous for Jack. I want to get him out of Moscow as soon as I can. I want Kevin Costner to be there with the cavalry sooner than he currently arrives. Uh, and that was one of the reasons I was drawn to the script, because it's a kind of, sounds like a cliche, but it is a bit of a thrill ride. But Kenneth, why did you want to wear two hats? <laughs> I mean, you play this bad guy with the black hat from Russia, uh, and yet you're directing, which is a full-time job in itself. It certainly is, uh, but as doctors say, you know, we have a poor memory for pain, otherwise women would never have a second <laughs> child, and I forget how difficult it is each time I do it. In fact, I hadn't done it for about for 13 a long time. years. 13 yeah. years, and... Uh, but I was really thrilled to share the screen with Chris Pine and Kira Knightley, and, and, and I had a master director on the set in Kevin Costner, so I, I had plenty of help. Uh, and I thought, you know, if I can get the sleep, if I can get enough sleep, then I think maybe it would, because the tone of the film I, I'd, I'd come to love so much, I was, I was thrilled to have a chance to play this quiet, dangerous man. Victor Shurevin. Jack Ryan. Uh, how was uh, your flight? Fine, thank you. And the jet lag? That first night can be brutal. I survived. What can I do for you? Routine audit. So routine it couldn't be done from New York? Not when you're concealing accounts from us. You Americans like to think of yourselves as direct. But I wonder if perhaps you are just rude. You Russians think of yourselves as poets, but perhaps you're just touchy. I love the tone of the film, and I also like the look of the film. I felt I was back in the 1970s watching a thriller. Ah, uh, right. The way you filmed it, the way the look, uh, 
It's magnificent. And as you said, the cast had to be of great help to you, Kevin Costner, yeah. Kira Knightley. And Kira is masterful with this relationship. Yes, she is. She has a wonderful American accent. It's great to see her in contemporary wardrobe, which she loved. She was so excited to do that. Uh, she brings intelligence, beauty, passion, and there's a sense of fun. You feel there's a real proper loving relationship at risk here. Uh, and I think women respond incredibly positively to the film from that point of view because it takes that relationship seriously. She's not just a worried a woman back in some form of home. She's in there right at the center of it, and uh, she is what matters to him. Well, I know exactly. Now, do you what, want to rent it? I was going to say, I know exactly <laughs> what movie I'm renting this weekend for okay. sure. That looks good. I think our audience should. We have two more DVDs coming up this Friday. Dallas Buyers Club, nominated for an Oscar. In fact, it won three Oscar awards uh, with uh, Matthew McConaughey. And Jared Leto will be here. Okay. Uh, he also won the Oscar for Supporting Actor. He is outstanding as a transsexual in Dallas Buyers Club. And then we have the original Hunger Games. The Hunger Games with Jennifer Lawrence, which blew the box office away. Yeah, it did. Of I loved course, it. when it opened. Yeah. Oh, I did too. I did too. Great film. Always love talking movies with you guys. <laughs> well, so nice Jim, always you. a pleasure every Tuesday and oh, Friday. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. And right now we have Jim Gaffigan's Obsessed on Blu-ray. If you want a chance to win this disc, just go to TucsonMorningBlend.com and click on the contest page. And still ahead on the Morning Blend, we'll get some tips for dads to be and find out how pregnancy affects them. Plus, it's Nat National Tire Safety Week, so we'll get some tips for checking your tires from a pro. That's coming up right after this.